What's going on everybody? It's so good to see you again. I've been wanting to make this video for ages. Today, we're looking at an air press recipe that won the US national competition using two different kinds of filters. And just to make it more interesting, I'm gonna see if I can make it in five minutes that are allowed in competition. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the air press competition, it's a worldwide event that has been held every year since 2008. And this competition often supplies everyone with the same coffee and equipment to use. So all competitors need to do is show up with an air press. And since this creates a level playing field, competitors often spend more time coming up with novel, complicated, and highly precise brewing recipes, again, all of which must be presented to a panel of judges in just five minutes. The judges taste the coffee, count to three, and point to the best tasting cup. That's it. No score sheets, no complicated rules. It's a bracket style elimination competition until a winner is chosen. Now, this recipe won first place in the US national competition in 2013. It uses two filters, the usual AeroPress filter and a V60 filter, set up with 10 grams of coffee in the AeroPress and eight grams of coffee in the V60 filter perched on top of the brewer in the inverted position. The V60 is brewed into the AeroPress and once it's done, the V60 is removed, more water is added to the chamber, and everything gets steeped together before plunging it through. The idea is that the two filters will create a cleaner cup with more clarity of flavor. And this recipe was developed by Andy Springer of Sweet Bloom Coffee. It was documented on Spreader's YouTube channel with a soundtrack that honestly is kind of a bop. Andy Springer. Aeropress. If I ever Andy win one of these competitions, I don't care about the trophy. I'll just take a track like that. <laughs> that would be great. But now let's get to it and see if I can replicate this recipe on the wobbliest of tables in the required five minutes. And go. So let's grind 18 grams of coffee. I'm gonna set up in the inverted position. And we need 10 grams in here. Let's grab our 60. So we got a pre wet 360. And then fold it over. Now eight grams is gonna go in here. And he says to bloom for 10 seconds. And to pulse pour for a minute and 30, up to 120 grams. Currently at 237. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. I'm gonna pre wet the air press filter. Capping it. Flipping it. Getting rid of our scale. And gently pressing. And I haven't looked at the time yet. So I'm really curious. I'm really doubting that I'm getting this done within five minutes. Oh, 527. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. 527. Let's give this a try. All right, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider double filtering and pressing the like button. On this channel, I bring my perspective from 10 years in the industry to help you make better coffee at home. So if that's interesting to you, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Now, let's give this coffee a taste. That is actually, I mean, look at the color. The color is like this kind of 
bright orange. Really lovely, it has like a nice little haze to it. Super cool. Very fruity, has a little bit of acidity to it. Yeah, that is good. So let me know if you try this out. It's obviously not something I would do every day, but it is kind of fun to try. And that's sort of the spirit of the AeroPress competition. They even used to have an appeals email for the competition. It was something like, just try to have fun okay at worldairpresscompetition.com with the disclaimer next to it, do not expect a reply. And if you wanna learn more about the World Air Press Competition, I'll link it down below. There's a live stream of the 2022 World Competition there, as well as many of the recipes from past champions. And if you happen to be nearby where one of these competitions is being held, they are really fun to check out. WC is really focused on community building with these events and allowing the host to bring their own unique personalities to each one. And if you'd rather brew an air press for more than one person, I'm gonna link that up right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.